Hey guys, so today I'm going to start a new print on the Artillery 3D Sidewinder. Uh, today I'm going to print out the Moon City, I believe is what the print's called. And I have some of this filament left over, so I believe it's a like copper filament. I don't remember who makes that, but I'm going to go ahead and give that a shot with it and see how that prints out. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and set everything up, and I'll see you at the end of the time lapse. Okay, so this was about 24 hours, maybe just a little bit under. I actually turned off the machine before I could even look at it. And it looks really good. This is printed at 0.1 layer height. Actually, let me see if I can get the light up here a little bit better. There we go. You can see there's some stringing, so I got some retraction issues to deal with. This was with that AnyCubic uh, um, I have some lines there that I did not see before. Uh, this is printed with the AnyCubic uh, Copper PLA. And it's a roll that I had laying around for quite some time. Uh, I think the last time I really printed with it was when I used the E180. Um, and I had some issues with it back at that time, so it probably wasn't the best filament for me to use for this but it printed with it all right i'm just trying to figure out why it's got these lines because that was printed at 0.1 layer height the back side you do notice layer lines very well on it but on the inside you don't the inside looks just fantastic i honestly don't know if that's part of the model i kind of doubt it but the inside looks really good have a like i said have a little bit of issue with the <laughs> with the the wisps so let me hit that with a heat gun really quick that filament really does not like me doing that because i can hear the thing cracking like crazy <laughs> trying to see where the cracks are developing at it doesn't look like it's on the outside but it was definitely making some cracking noises <laughs> Now, I've never printed this before, so I don't know what it's supposed to look like on the inside, but it looks like there might have been some failures on the inside of this part right here. Uh, you can see where there's some stringiness right there. Looks like that was part of the, the dome. I don't... It's like over here... Oh, wow. This lighting's horrible. <laughs> Let me rearrange my light here just a little bit. See how it's got this little upright right there? I think that's what was supposed to be printed around it. It looks like they failed on for the most part. But other than that, though, it looks pretty good. Definitely turned out better than I thought it would. I didn't expect it to really turn out that great, uh, especially with this, this filament. So I might revisit this a little bit later on with a different filament and maybe with a different printer to see just how it turns out. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching this video. When you have a chance, please check out my website, jimmyshawstidbits.com. We can purchase merchandise from my Tee Public store, as well as check out my Amazon affiliate link. Anything purchased from one of those helps the channel tremendously, and I thank you for it. Also, if you'd like to support the channel as many of these people have, please check out my Patreon link over here. You can support the channel from there. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe over here. And if you'd like to check out one of my other videos, please give one of these a shot. I think you're going to like them, especially that one over there. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Take care.